All right, uh, this is our uh, first Route 66 ride. We were going to start over here at the State Farm Park, but apparently State Farm Park is uh, for State Farm employees only, so they wouldn't even let us use their parking lot to start the trail, even though the trail is right in front of their uh, chunk of land. So we're at the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. It's a public building, so the parking lot is public. We looked for signs. There weren't any signs to indicate we couldn't park here. Uh, so we're going to start it from here. Uh, it's about uh, 10 miles down, 10 miles back for looking for a short ride. It's gonna, we're going to get some thunderstorms all afternoon long, so we woke up early to get this ride done today. So uh, here we go. We're 5.4 miles in. It's only 10 miles down, 10 miles back. We're on the other side of uh, Route 66, which is on our right now. When we started, it was on our left. We're about 6.8 miles in, uh, back over, I guess it would be that way. There's trail parking. I didn't know trail parking existed on this trail, so that's something to keep in mind. You can always ride to the end, turn around, pass your car up, ride to the other end, turn around. So uh, we were struggling to find a spot to park once we were turned away from State Farm Park, thinking it was a park for everyone, and it is not even though I have an account with State Farm. That's no matter. Now Route 66 is on the right of us again. Uh, we're lined by trees. We're further away from I-55, so it's definitely not as loud as it was with car traffic. Uh, so now we're in the shade, which is nice. The trail surface here is really good. It's new, it's nice, it's smooth. They could definitely use some Route 66 related signage. And we haven't seen a single bathroom. We're nine miles in, 9.1 miles in. I'm glad to see they're planting trees here. That'll make the trail even nicer in the future. That's the way they spell syrup.
All right, well, we've made it to the end of the Route 66 trail, this segment of it. Uh, we're 10.2 miles in. We're in uh, Funks Grove, Illinois. Uh, here's a shot of uh, the bike route end sign. Uh, they do have a spot to park, which is uh, extremely useful. I looked at Google Maps beforehand. This whole section of the trail, including the bridge we crossed down there, is not even visible on the satellite view yet. So I didn't know we were able to even park here. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything Route 66 specific here. I don't see any signage or anything. And unfortunately, there's no restroom. They should always have one at a stop start to a trail. Uh, it looks like a little further down the road this way is that Funks Grove Maple Syrup place. So we're gonna, the trail ends here, but we're gonna ride a little down the road to go check that out next. So we're actually riding on Route 66 now. Uh, they should totally extend this trail. If I were this Funks Grove Maple Syrup place, I would do everything I could to extend the trail right to their driveway to make it easier for people to access their site. But we're gonna pull right on in here. We're here right now at Funks Grove Maple Syrup Farm. Uh, they got a nice place to sit here. Looks like on Saturdays, uh, they got a bathroom here too. Uh, it looks like on Saturdays they uh, open at 10, so it's not quite 10 o'clock yet. So we're just sort of hanging out in the shade. They have uh, picnic tables here and uh, lots of farm stuff. And the little shop is right here. And uh, hopefully soon we're gonna get ourselves some syrup. We're still at Funk's Grove Maple Syrup. Uh, the gentleman here was kind enough to actually open like uh, 45 minutes early just to uh, take our sale. Uh, I'm a big supporter of uh, you know small business on uh, bike trails. So we definitely had to spend some money here. Check out my new hat. It's pretty awesome. So uh, we're gonna be taking uh, the same way back. It's gonna be about 10 miles, a little more than 10 miles. Uh, the gentleman at the counter told us that it uh, looks like they're planning to extend this trail down to the next town within the next couple of years. And then they'll uh, extend it even more, possibly all the way down to St. Louis, which would be amazing. All right, we're leaving Funks Grove Maple Syrup. Again, these people are really great. A couple nice conversations. They let us in early uh, so we could... Uh, and buy some syrup and some other things so uh, again if you're ever on route 66 definitely stop by uh, this is also the midpoint in illinois from between where the route 66 starts and where it ends at the mississippi river well ends in illinois the route at uh, the mississippi river this is the midpoint in illinois so uh, they got lots of route 66 uh, memorabilia and stuff like that that you could check out when you're here and uh, the bike path will eventually cut right through within the next couple of years. So you'll be able to just pull right on in. In the meantime, we're going to have to ride a little bit on Route 66 here and uh, get ourselves back onto the trail, which is over there. You can see by that car. So away we go. I got a rear view mirror here. Well, a couple of them actually. So. Uh, keeping track of cars behind us, but otherwise I'm just gonna take the entire lane.
So, but it's a really nice day. It's the calm before the storm. Apparently we're supposed to get some severe thunderstorms today, this afternoon. So that's why we're, we got out so early. So early, the syrup place wasn't even open. There we go, we gotta turn here. All of this gravel is new. It's, it's very, very loose and it's not packed in. So just uh, be aware of that when you come. But uh, we're back on the trail. We got about 10 miles, a little more than 10 miles back to the car. Uh, the temperature is wonderful. The storms haven't rolled in. And uh, what this uh, route needs is a couple more places to stop because if you put a place to stop, I will stop there and spend money. So keep that in mind. We're about 14 miles in at this point. Uh, headed back to that area right by uh, State Farm Park, which again, not open to the public. So this section of it pretty much hugs I-55. So it's a little, it's a little louder than the section that was lined with trees. So we're gonna stop right up here when we change sides. So we cross back over to this side here. Not exactly sure where we are. So this is that area we passed by earlier that has trail access parking. There's some bike racks here you can lock to. Get a nice picnic table here. What they're missing is a garbage can and a porta potty. So uh, that would be nice. <laughs> 